Jessica, Jessica, what do you love about wrestling? Okay, I like the action. I like the like the feeling you get when you're gonna go to a live event, like pay-per-views. I like the wrestlers, the muscles, everything about wrestling. Really? Yep. Uh, Jesse, how about you? What do you love about wrestling? I like how it's a story, and they like do everything out, and there's the action, and it's kind of like watching a movie, and you know it's not real, but you don't really care because it's fun to watch anyway. Really? You don't think it's real wrestling? No. I think that it's choreographed, but I think it's well choreographed, so you can barely tell. Okay, Anthony, what do you think of uh, wrestling? Why do you love it? I love everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best WWF rules! So, uh, maybe we can get into specifics. Uh, what, do you, what do you love about it? I love, like, everything that they have in the background, you know, like all the gimmicks that they make up, everything about the wrestlers, uh, their personas. Everything, it's the best. So, Adam, you love wrestling too? Wrestling is the world's greatest soap opera. It's full of love, <laughs> defeat, anger, hatred. It's true emotion. So, what about the WWF specifically do you love? WWF, it's just, it's got all the action. It's got the biggest guys, the best guys, the quickest guys. Everyone in there knows what they're doing. Anything else is just nothing. Jesse? Uh, Jesse? You're shaking your head. You, what, what's your opinion of the WWF? I think that the WWF is a big joke because everybody runs around with their stupid gimmicks. Their tag teams of big farmers, hockey players. <laughs> For a while there was, there was a clown wrestling. And that's just Look, stupid. I was young, I needed the money, okay? Uh, Anthony? Yeah? Anthony, what do you think you need to have to make it as a professional wrestler? Skill, first off. A lot of athleticism involved, you know? You need, a, you need a really good persona as well. Do you think you need acting ability? Slight. Slight acting ability. <laughs> Adam, what do you think you need to, uh, to make it as a professional artist? Uh, know the right people. That's all there is to it. <laughs> know the right people? You think it's contacts? Yep, it's really? all contacts. We're going to take a question right here. Okay, first of all, I think it's great that you're all involved in like wrestling because wrestling's fun but um do any of you have any wrestling training or anything <laughs> adam i do um i'm the captain of my high school wrestling team i've been there for four years and so what about the distinction strong. what about the distinction between high school wrestling and wwf wrestling well the difference like it's a different style of wrestling or you know wwf wrestling is, is a little bit more high impact and whatever and uh, high school wrestling is a little bit more a little bit more thinking you know but it's all the same stuff. It's all wrestling. Jesse, you actually have a collection of stuff with you. What, what can you show us there? Um, a bunch of stuff. Okay. I'll have a t-shirt. I have a whole slew of magazines. Maybe you I could hold up the uh, t-shirt. Show okay. us. Oh. He doesn't wrestle anymore. He goes well with my pants, but... I see. And who is that? That would be Tatanka. Right. Of course. Tatanka. We had another question. We're gonna take one right here. Um, I was wondering if uh, any of you and Adam specifically have any other interests besides wrestling? Wrestling is my entire life. I do nothing besides that. <laughs> For me, it's needlepoint, but I seem to be alone in my hobby. Jessica, what do you admire specifically about the wrestlers themselves? Well, um, I like the way that they like reach out to the fans. They like care about the fans, and because they know that without the fans they wouldn't be there, and so they like dedicate like everything they do to the fans. Okay, Anthony, you love wrestling so much. You have some future plans for your wedding. You want to tell us about those? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, at one point I wanted to get married at the intermission of WrestleMania. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I can't think of a more romantic setting. She's a lucky gal. Another question right here. Uh, who are your favorite wrestlers? Because mine's Hulk Hogan. Yeah. So old! So old! Anthony? Anthony, who's your favorite wrestler? 
Good behavior, Lars. Yeah, okay. Uh, Adam, how about you? Who's your favorite wrestler? Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> Jessica, who's yours? Lightweight guys. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> uh, who do you like specifically? I like Chris Jericho. One Chris? guy. <laughs> Chris Jericho? Chris Jericho. Uh, I think I speak on behalf of the entire audience when I say who's Chris Jericho. Cause <laughs> A guy in WCW who's like everybody says is the next big thing. And I agree with them. I think he is the next big thing. Okay, we're gonna take uh, another question right here. Okay, um, this is for the girl. You want to be a wrestler when you grow up? Well, not really. I just want to be like involved in the in like a wrestling federation somehow, like a manager, like work in the head office or something. Like that. Cool. So, any of you guys? <laughs> any of you guys want to be professional wrestlers? Anthony and Adam, you guys both do. Well, we'll just see. Of course, one of the most crucial elements for any wrestler is their persona. Right now, we're going to send our four fledgling wrestlers out for their wrestling makeovers. Stick around. We'll be right back with more after this. Life is complicated. Okay, so you watch the John Ovis. I'm here with Brett the Hitman Hart. And as you know, we've been collecting some questions from you, the viewers to ask Brett. I have him for a few minutes. I wanted to take this chance to ask him these questions. From a Dale Taylor of the Paw Manitoba. He wants to know, what time is it where you are? Uh, in contrast to Manitoba, we're, I believe, one hour and six. There's your answer, Dale, right there. Here's the next question. Ken McKee from Gander, Newfoundland asks, it's kind of a weird one, in your time as a professional wrestler, have you ever met Dave from Wendy's? No, no I have not met Dave from Wendy's. Our next question is from Mark Howlett, also in Lethbridge. His question is, Dear Brett, do you ever like wrestle with your conscience? All the time. I think just about everybody that has a conscience does, you know, wrestle with their conscience. But uh, the thing that works best for me is the fact that my conscience usually loses. <laughs> 